I am Dr. Shiksha Gallo, and uh, thank you so much for taking time to listen to this video. This video is actually for all of my patients um, who we've seen. We've seen over 800 to over 1,000 patients in the last couple of years. So I want to just explain how medical cannabis works on the system, the endocannabinoid system, because I feel it's important as patients when you're taking medicine or you're taking anything, you understand how it impacts on the body, what it is doing, and why are you why are you taking it so what we do at holistic integrative healing institute which is also known as holistic healing we provide you with tools for healing and i want to explain how it works so majority of our medicines are cannabinoids but we also have other plant-based medicines to support various ailments or illnesses but let's just talk about medical cannabis we know there's a huge stigma with medical cannabis and i want to just explain to patients you know how it actually works so firstly questions i'm going to ask, answer questions from patients um, and give you a quick feedback number one question is is medical cannabis addictive so yes a medical cannabis is addictive however it is less addictive than the coffee that you drink that caffeine for example medical cannabis is sitting at about a seven percent addiction rate your caffeine is sitting about a nine percent addiction rate but this is really important. Your wine that you drink is actually sitting at 20%. So alcohol is sitting at 20% addiction rate. And then your nicotine tobacco is sitting at a very high 30%. So the opioids that you take, which is like your tramadol, your mapradol, your morphine, or all of the opioids are sitting at a much higher uh, addiction rate between 20 to 30. And um, heroin, cocaine is sitting between the 30% addiction rate. So my point here is, medical cannabis cannot be equated with the addiction rate of opioids or any other drugs it's one of the safest drugs out there or medicines why is it safe it's the second question i get so it is safe because number one you can never overdose or die from a pure medical cannabis plant based i'm not talking synthetic and the reason is um, the cannabinoid receptors we have very minimal cannabinoid receptors in the brain stem and this doesn't affect the respiratory center of the brain so what I'm saying is if you're taking an opioid like a Mipradol or an Atcadol or a Morphine, uh, those are opioids and that actually can affect the respiratory center of the brain and that is why people can overdose and die. So the plant-based medicine is fairly safe. So I want to go on to explain the endocannabinoid system. So I don't know if you're aware, we are all born with this endocannabinoid system. It is a system that every single mammal has. And the functioning of the system is basically to bring the body back into homeostasis, which means balance. So you actually produce your own uh, cannabinoids, guys. It's called endogenous. So we have endogenous cannabinoids that we produce in the body. And there's actually five of them. But the two main ones is anandamide. Ananda means bliss in Sanskrit. And the second one is 2-arictinol glycerol, which is 2-AG. So we produce these endocannabinoids in the body, and that actually helps to bring the body back into homeostasis. So how can I build on my endocannabinoid system to bring my body back to homeostasis? That's the other question I have. Number one is exercise. So if you're doing like really good exercise, be it running or cycling, that will then increase the anandamide this bliss molecule to increase these endocannabinoids okay that's the one the other one is it's found in breast milk so if you see a baby that is born we always tell that mother to breastfeed the baby and the reason is the highest amount of endocannabinoids are found in breast milk so you will see the difference between a baby that's breastfed and one that is not the one that is breastfed is always healthier so that's the other way that we can have endocannabinoids but as life goes on guys we eat badly we have stress, we have trauma, we have grief, or we take substances into our body that can affect it, like heavy metals, and then the body is out of balance. So how do we balance that body? So this is when the plant comes in, our beautiful cannabis plant, and there we call it phytocannabinoids. So phyto is from the plant, cannabinoids is linked to the system. So I want you to picture this, and you can look at the slide uh, on the screen. If you see all along the body here, there's an um, x-ray also showing a scan, showing uh, the receptors all along the body. And if you also see the blue in blue here, 
Your CB1, which is called cannabinoid 1 receptors, are found in the brain and central nervous system is the main area where it's quite dense. But if you look around, you'll also be able to see there are other blue dots along the body. But if you look at the pink, here we have the cannabinoid 2 receptors and these receptors are found in the peripheral organs and the immune system. And then you can see they're dispersed all along the body. So if you look at the next slide here that I'm showing you, what's important to understand is you have these cannabinoid receptors all over the body. And when you take the medicine, I want you to picture the medicine we are giving you, the phytocannabinoids. You would have heard about CBD, THC. We at Holistic Healing, we don't only work with CBD and THC, we work with all of the, compo all of the compounds, over hundreds of compounds uh, called cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids. We work with all of them. But I want you to just picture the medicine I'm giving you as a key. And then I want you to picture all of these receptors that I've shown you now on the slide as a lock. So when you take the medicine, it actually fits directly into this lock and it unlocks the potential for healing. So what I am doing is I'm getting your own body to heal itself by stimulating the endocannabinoid system by bringing the body back into homeostasis. So that's the simplest way I can explain it. It gets very more complicated because CBD works with a specific enzyme called FAR in a different way, um, which increases anandamide and your THC links directly to the receptors, but that's a bit complicated. I just want you to understand the gist of what we're doing to the body. We're bringing this endocannabinoid system back into balance. With our protocol, you also will have a detox. So we detox the body, we bring the toxins down, increase the endocannabinoid, bringing the body back into balance so the last question i have is what is the difference between pharmaceutical medicine and plant-based medicine or cannabis so the cannabinoids will work on a multi-level system so it works on multiple systems and bringing the body to a nexus of homeostasis whereas your pharmaceutical medicines will work on a single receptor site so what does that mean that means if I am treating you for cancer, for example, and we just want to help you with the nausea and vomiting for chemotherapy because you're taking chemotherapy and we're trying to help all the side effects, but you also have high blood pressure or you have anxiety or something else is going on, that will also get fixed, okay? That will also bring the body because what we're trying to do is slowly bring the body back to balance. So we will normally monitor all of the medicines you're on and we will see how we can bring the body back into balance. So that in a nutshell, I think I've answered all of the patient's questions. If you have any more, you're more than welcome to book the consults for us or if, with us. If you already have a consult, I need you to please watch the video before the consult so you understand the science and the mechanism. So we're able to treat a variety of ailments um, with uh, cannabinoids and other plant-based medicines, but we microdose, so we need to know the full history. We need to know all the pharmaceutical meds you're on. We need to know your your x-rays, your blood tests, your pathology um, scans, and we work with that. And then we have individualized treatments for you. So you can contact us uh, for a consult for any ailment, and we will be able to help you. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and you have learned a lot. And God bless. Goodbye.